Hello, this is Hawk the Bean, and today we are going to be looking at something completely new for this channel. Today we are going to be visiting the subreddit called r slash weirdcore, which is mostly just as pictures that fit a certain aesthetic that I have been really interested in lately. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. And who knows, maybe I can explain a little bit about what makes this aesthetic so appealing. And how it works. I don't need any answers to life. What is wrong with me? And here we have a playground that seems to have way too many slides. Like, just looking at this alone, I'm like counting four slides. Locate an image. Here we just have an image of a, a telephone pole and the beautiful blue sky. I think the best way to explain it is um, weird. That just seems to be a link and not an actual image. Oh, it's just that. The main point of it seems to be to be really about being very dreamy and interesting. And of course, it's only made even more weird when my internet decides to not work. Observed the decay of, of the memory after it has been forgotten. No memory is ever truly lost, but the brain has its reasons as to why it forgets. Touching into memories and dreams is really the main point. That's why Weird Core and Dream Core are so closely related. One day at the pool! A weird core ex explores more of the interesting and weird part of, uh, of the dreams. Dream core is more about the comforting parts. Frequency! Oh, right! There's some similarities between in some different aesthetics, such as Y2K, Frutiger, Arrow, Dreamcore, Weirdcore, and Old Web. Old Web usually has old school emojis, pixel art, Windows. It was 95, 98, 2000, ME, or XP. Weirdcore shares some things with that, such as the web graphics. Greedcore has uh, confusion, liminal spaces, low quality JPEGs. So does Dreamcore. And they also have uh, orbs, sparkles, and borders, which Dreamcore and apparently Fritiker Arrow all have. And I guess they also have bubbles. And linear or, or gradients are in this. I mean, real. I don't know what this aesthetic is. Dreamcore has some uh, OCs, strange creatures, eyes, teeth, and other facial features. Just about. They both have rainbows and RPG elements. Now, Y2K has Futurism, Chrome, and CGI, and HD. All these aesthetics have one thing in common, and that is nostalgia. 
That's kind of why I like liminal spaces in the first place. Here we see a mostly empty place. It looks almost like a desert, but also it's like not a desert. And it just says you are not a bad person. Obviously the text doesn't really have much going and into um, explanation for it. Here we have a very odd hallway that transitions into an interesting little cottage. Past memories fading away. Here we have a kitchen sink, some chairs, and what looks like a really, really odd and kind of old cave. And here we just have a void in the middle of a field. Just look at that. Pretty neat. Big tree. The land looks like it's dissolving here. Like it's getting Dana snapped or something. Were you there? There's a bench here, some trees. It's a really neat picture. And we have stairs going straight into nothing. Just gone. There's nothing there. But this is surrounded by like a cave, so it's like a huge drop or something. Here we have a neighborhood with like those cookie cutter houses where they all look exactly the same and there's no personality between them. And just a question, where's your family? So right now, my mom is way too weird to ever live in one of those houses that just looks exactly the same as every other house. I just love when things, for whatever reason, just don't work. Don't go in there. And this looks like a game, actually. A really low poly game. And then you have this door and just says don't go in there. I was just thinking of like if Amori was in 3D or something. I failed you. Here we just have out as bright. A sideways house. There's a car over here. And then there's this big light that is just shining directly into the camera. It only hates. Apparently the lights all the light here only hates. Nice guy though. It's pretty. It is odd, but that's kind of the whole entire point. Eventually. Where are we? Here we have a picture of what looks to be the Milky Way or some sort of galaxy. I've been waiting for you. Oh yeah, Weirdcore and Dreamcore do this a lot, where something is there, but they put like, um, black bars over it. It looks like it's being censored or something, like you're not supposed to see it. Choose, right or left. 
That's pretty neat. This one is really surreal. It's interesting though. Often spot after major tragedies. Here we have what looks like a large building, maybe a church, yet all of the seats or whatever are all over the place and not in line how they're supposed to be. Actually it looks a little bit like it might have been flooded. I don't know what happened on the date this is mentioning whether it's be it's December 9th, 2009 or September 12th, 2009. Useless, and it's just a destroyed car. Oh, we have a collection here. We have two images. Here we see a nice living room, cool little chairs, and the text just says, not much is known about this event. And we have the same picture without the text. That's amazing. Never seen again, these two people. Interesting, usually people aren't in the weird core. There are strange characters in Dream Core. They're usually pretty interesting. They have like floating eyes or like clouds or even TVs for heads. It's really pretty interesting. Or sometimes they like really fit with in with the SAG in some other way. kind of um, like that show that just got a pilot. Oh, finally, we found a gas station, I think. Looks kind of like one. They left. This looks like a weird toy rocket. And it looks like it's getting blasted off into space, but the sky kind of looks like a blanket or something, and not quite like a real sky in this picture. Which is not too far off for a lot of Dreamcore and Weirdcore, but usually it's at least a fake sky box room thing. Ooh, a snack! And there's an arrow point and a cloud. Are they gone? Some eyes poking out of a cupboard. Don't tell them what it is either. And there's just something here that's been covered up by the sensor bar. Are you lost? The void asks from this place full of many, many chairs. Wait, don't be shy. Come on inside. It's a hallway with a door that's within a door frame. I think that says play. It's just a an orb of sky inside of what looks like one of those arcade places is that you see in a lot of places you go to. Another sensor bar, but this time we're looking into a room. And the text says how vile man can be. Now here we have a very bright and hazy picture of what looks like a a driveway that is also right on the edge of a forest that goes into a house of some sort. Then there's text that says, I bet there is someone out there who likes you for who you are.
Anyway, I think that's enough for today. We've gotten pretty weird today. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!